This is uh, just a simple test text manipulation in Engrave Lab. I had a customer that requested uh, dropping a baseline. Unfortunately, I do not think that that's possible in Engrave Lab, but let's uh, explore a couple other ways of doing it. I want a quarter inch high letter, and I'm going to just type in text and then a bracket, the asterisk, and then a bracket. Now, I know the customer wants this asterisk to be centered in here and also to be larger since when this engraves you can't can hardly tell what it is. So I'm going to double click on the baseline, swipe through this and I'm going to change it to a half an inch. And I'm going to hit F6 to zoom out and that's unfortunately what you end up with. So we need to move this down here. You can uh, do a couple of things. You can either break the paths or you can just ungroup. I usually ungroup. That way this still remains, even though it's only a single digit, it, it is at least text. So if I wanted to change one letter, I could. So now these are all separate entities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this asterisk and then I'm going to select the right parentheses and I'm going to do some alignment and I'm going to go to alt K and what I want to do it's going to align to the last object and I want it to center on it vertically and that's put that in the center now if I wanted to of course I could select this and maybe move this over three times and then do the same thing over like this in order to make it a little bit more pleasing. I could also, once I get my parenthesis, let's say I'm, I want to make sure that it is perfectly centered, I could take this right parentheses and the left parentheses, and I'm going to hit Control G to group it. And now I'm going to take my asterisk, and then I'll click on, shift click my parentheses, go Alt K, and this time I want it to center uh, vertically and horizontally and now I know that this asterisk is dead center and of course if now I decide that asterisk still is a little bit too small I'm gonna select make sure that this center button is pressed and that I have the uh, proportional scaling with the lock closed and maybe I want it to be 0.2 inches by this being in the center, you can see that it exp expands from the center. Maybe I want it 0.25 high. And you can see how you can bring that up and down. I hope this helps.